how to change starter character runtime. I will illustrate it with real life practical examples. At that game, start the method kissing the floor and move. The easiest and fastest method is following. You simply remake a model. For example, I have three here. You find it in the workspace and now you drag it into start to play a script or you could copy paste it rename it starter character and no 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 you can't be lazy here it must be exactly like that no typos also make sure that no part is anchored because otherwise your character will be standing in one place like a tree and unless you're building a game of trees that's not what you want wasn't that easy make sure you give a like hey there stay focused because previous solution was very easy but it was also very boring because every player looks the same if you want to make cool games like these you need to learn how to change starter character runtime in other words how to change players character during a game i will speed run it there is an event and this event involves change character function this event can be anything button click click detector touch event character added event whatever so let's jump into it we jump into this epic example in this demonstration if a user clicks on a box the runtime character will change so if you have ever fantasized about switching your bodies then this is the way to go here we have three character models lined up for our amusement like supermodels trying to win a competition I'm going to demonstrate how to change starter character using your pointy finger. That's right, a computer mouse. The class name, which we need to use, is called Click Detector. For cool nerds, you will be interested in following. Click Detector allows scripts and local scripts to receive pointer input on 3D objects through their mouse click event. You can read more about it here. Shh, I have a secret. The source code of this game is available in the description below. And I can tell you are getting hungry. And instead of eating a big juicy cheeseburger, let's eat some go. And here we can see click detector has an event called mouse click we have defined handler function which will invoke modifier change correct function takes two arguments player and a new character model how does it work i'm very glad you asked you are a very smart person it has only four lines of code yeah it is that simple first we are taking care of the immutability in short we are making sure that we don't change existing models because we want to reuse the models we already have in the game and immutability is a very important concept in the programming world we don't want to mess up the state of the game otherwise we will have a spaghetti code and no matter how big spaghetti lover you are you don't want that in a go. Setting primary part is very important because if you don't do this, character will be at the wrong spot. It will look like a tower of Jenga. In order to make animations work, you need to copy scripts from the old model to the new model. It's basically like moving brain from one person to another, like a brain surgery. That means if you have additional logic in your character, you need to copy all of it into the new model. So it depends of your game, so pay attention to it. You can perform moving scripts and assets simply by changing parent value. And lastly, the most important part we have been all waiting for, how to replace the character. First, change the player character property to the new character. And second, move the character into workspace. You can do that by changing the parent. After that, Dropbox Studio will wave its magic wand and the character will appear. And write a comment let us know on what game you are working on and while you write the comment i will demonstrate practical examples that you can use in your game i received a very spicy request how to spawn a player with a random girl like this that is exciting here i have eight players the characters have been randomly selected by the code you can test eight players locally by clicking this button i'm going to explain it very quickly so pay attention to it. You can read the source code in the description below. Let's jump into it. But first, we need to turn off automatic character loading. This is a default feature by Roblox Studio. In most cases, it is very useful. So therefore, we throw it out of the window. Oh, and five, one. Second, we need to change the character at the right time in the cave. Roblox game has a life cycle. There are events for player added, character added, humanoid died. There are tons of different events and we are interested in player added event. Let's implement it. So what is inside of this function? Let's walk through each statement one by one. Get characters returns a list of character models. And in my case, the characters are stored in replicated storage folder. But in your game, they might be somewhere else. Get random uh, returns a random element from a list. Essentially, it just generates a new random number. It selects an element with this index. Now that you know how to generate random numbers, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You can make your own casino game.
I mean loot boxes. Get position function returns a C frame, and in my case, the coordinates are hard coded. But in most games, it might be necessary to implement here some more complex logic. Get scripts returns a list of scripts needed for the game. If these scripts are missing for the character model, then the character model will not function properly in the game. For example, the most important script usually is the animate script. In my case, the scripts are stored in started character scripts. If your scripts are located somewhere else, you need to make sure that this function is implemented properly. And finally, modifier preload character. This function takes all those values together and makes the magic happen. It closes the template, sets the position, adds the scripts, changes player character and adds it into the workspace. That's it. It's so simple. But if you get stuck, it's perfectly normal. That's how we learn. Every Roblox developer needs to know this. In the next 20 seconds, I will demonstrate how to change NBC's character model triggered by the actions of human players. You are youthful and optimistic lady who likes to kiss frogs in hopes they will transform into true love a rich man you nervously approach frogs fingers crossed because making out with a wrong reptile will get you blown into business the code is open to the public for free for individuals who have smashed the like button for that reason i will demonstrate only the most critical component lip locking with a frog When the lady starts smooshing the croaker, the proximity prompt is triggered and the frog will transform into a prince or poison the female. This could be the best day of her life or the last day she ever sees. This function creates a frog in a given position. The method for transforming a frog into a prince is very simple. It simply invokes visual effects, sound and change character. Today's video is all about transforming models, so let's dive into that specific Part. Taking place right now in Singapore and right now the Philippine diving team, they're having a rough go at it. To start. It's very similar to the previous code which I have already demonstrated during this video. Copy script, sets position, destroy models, parent the new model into workspace. And that's it. The most popular game since the dawn of human civilization. The game of that we escaped from the jaws of hell, or we became the ferocious food finders ourselves. We're not hunters anymore, yet we still love. It. And to my huge surprise, the game of that has evolved into a professional sport. Grown up men chasing each other, and it's pretty fun. Therefore, let's build the game of that in Roblox with a fun, unique twist. When two players pump into each other, their characters will magically switch. What's the secret sauce behind my mysterious success? Thanks to the player added script, one lucky player gets to kick off as our beloved Italian blumber, Mario. Mario has a script up his lid. When other players bump into Mario's big belly, it sparks the change of characters. Touched event is disabled for 3 seconds on script load event, because otherwise characters will start switching infinitely, because they're still touching each other. Alternatively, you could teleport characters far apart. Deja vu. Anyone? The character changing function is like a pass from the back. You have seen snippets of it earlier in this very video. The source code is hiding out here, waiting for you to dive in. And there you have it for fingers crossed. I hope this video tickled you.